Mutmots are impressive-looking, robust birds that look somewhat like kingfishers. Male and female Mutmots have a similar appearance with bright shades of green and blue colors, a black mask, and a long, racket-tipped tail in most species. They often move their tails back and forth in a wag display that commonly draws attention to an otherwise hidden bird. Research indicates that Mutmots perform the wag display when they detect predators, and that the display is likely to communicate that the Mutmot is aware of the predator and is prepared to escape. With about 10 distinctive species within the Mutmot family, let's take a look at five of the most beautiful Mutmots in the world. Number 5. Inhabiting Central America from Southeast Mexico to Costa Rica, the turquoise browed Mutmot lives in fairly open habitats, such as forest edge, gallery forest, and scrubland. Also known as Toragaz, this species is more conspicuous than other Mutmots, often perching in the open on wires and fences, where it scans for prey, such as insects and small reptiles. Although it is often said that Mutmots pluck the barbs off their tail to create the racketed shape, this is not true. The barbs are weakly attached and fall off due to abrasion with substrates and with routine preening. And unlike most bird species, where only males express elaborate traits, the turquoise-browed Mutmot expresses the extraordinary racketed tail in both sexes. Research indicates that the tail has evolved to function differently for the sexes. Males apparently use their tail as a sexual signal, as males with longer tails have greater pairing success and reproductive success. In addition to this function, the tail is used by both sexes in a wag display, whereby the tail is moved back and forth in a pendulous fashion. Number 4. Found from northern Colombia to western Bolivia, the Andean Montmot is, in general, typical of its family. It is a large bird of 46 to 48 centimeters, 18 to 19 inches long, with a stout black bill and a long tail with a racket tip. This species primarily inhabits humid montane forest, often near streams. In Colombia, it occurs in all three major cordilleras, but in Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia, it is found only along the eastern side of the Andes. As an omnivorous species, the Andean Montmot primarily feeds on arthropods and fruits, but it also has been documented taking a small mouse opossum. Number 3. Found from northeastern Honduras south to western Ecuador, northern Bolivia, and western Brazil, the Rufus Montmot is a large forest dweller that likes to sit motionless. Arguably one of the most spectacular Mutmots, the adults of this species are mainly Cinnamon Rufus, with a black face mask and green wings and sides. As an omnivore, this bird has been documented eating many types of fruit, insects, crustaceans, small fish, lizards, and frogs. Number 2. Found in El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico, the blue-throated Motmot is green overall, with a pale golden face mask and black cheek spot that is usually more noticeable than the turquoise blue throat. It also has a long graduated tail that in contrast to that of most other Motmots that have racket tips. This stunning bird inhabits montane evergreen and pine forests of medium to high humidity with elevation of 1,300 to 3,000 meters in Mexico, but in Honduras, it is not found below 1,800 meters. In fact, no other Montmots occur in its limited highland range. Even though its population appears to be decreasing, its population and range are large enough to be assessed as least concerned by the IUCN. Number 1. Native to northwestern Mexico in central Guatemala, the russet-crowned Motmots are relatively small Motmots that measure 30 to 35 centimeters long and weigh 74 to 104 grams. Even though they are common along their range, the suitable nesting sites for these beautiful birds are steadily decreasing because of changing climate and human activity. This causes these Motmots to become very territorial 
where 60% of the population returned to the same nesting areas as the previous year. Nevertheless, the IUCN has assessed this species to be of least concern because they are still common along their range, but still, they are at risk of becoming endangered if their habitats are not conserved.